Are you clean now? Hope so. Okay, let's see where this goes. Dodge that broken pipe. Just thinking about it, you know, the adventure riding is a lot about not going 100% flat out. But to be at a speed where, well obviously you can go a lot slower, but to be at a speed where you see some rocks, you can just open the throttle, let the front wheel go over them. You know, if you're coming into a corner hard on the brakes and you, you, you're at a speed where you need to stay hard on the brakes until your entry to the corner or to the apex of the corner, and if there is a rock, you sort of bug it, you know, you're going to hit it with the suspension compressed. But if you enter, if you plan to be uh, coming into a corner at a speed where you can just blip the throttle without making yourself run off the road, you're in a much safer position. And, uh, you know, same with... <laughs> Same with um, even the straights, you know. You want to be running at a speed where you can brake quickly and then still blip the throttle. If you're going flat out, mate, you haven't got room to edit your style at all. So regardless of what other people are doing around you, you've, I'm sure you've heard it before, you know, always ride at your own pace and your own pace includes that room for error so you'll actually never see me in my videos just well if you do it's edited <laughs> you'll never see me just going absolutely flat out as fast as I can um, it's just not not the way to ride I don't believe sure I might try and carry a bit of speed every now and again but um, certainly never a hundred percent in fact it probably doesn't exceed 60 or 70 percent um, I mean when you watch videos by by uh, Riemann or by you know most of these guys they set up the camera and they do flybys at 100 percent and they've been over that track two or three times just just in the process of setting up the the track you know don't don't believe that they ride like that all the time and if Riemann gets on here and says yes I do I do ride like that all the time well <laughs> just makes me think you're an idiot not a you know not a safe rider who really should be promoting anything Oh, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? No, he, may, he might be just fucking amazing. Uh, I don't know. And the bits he does on camera, where he sets up the camera, are no different than how he rides all the time. It's, that's a possibility. I, I haven't met the guy. I wouldn't know. But what I'm saying is don't do that. See, so just seeing that rock and just twisting that, giving it that bit more throttle. I think that's what you need to do. Oh, I'd really love to see a video by by Riemann or um, I'm pretty sure I don't need to go down there. But my map turned off for some reason. Yeah, I'd um I would really like to see Riemann do a video where he talks about you know how how he would ride normally and obstacle avoidance and fatigue and 
I think it would be quite educational to us all. But I certainly don't think you should be, uh, any adventure rider should be either, uh, wow, look at that view. I don't think any adventure rider should be aspiring to meeting that standard of riding that you see on videos generally. Um, and uh, yeah, it really is all about setting your own pace, enjoying yourself. Hey, when I'm riding with someone and I, I'm riding with someone faster, I've, didn't, I've done that plenty of times. These guys off forums have said to me, oh, let's, hey, let's go for a ride. You know, probably thinking, man, this guy's fast. Let's uh, stick with him. And then they blow me away. <laughs> oh, yeah, it says go that way. And then they blow me away. Now, I don't know if they... Well, I don't know what they think. But regardless of what they think, that's, you know, that's me. I'll ride at my own pace regardless of who I'm riding with. And I think that's... That's really important for not just adventure bike riders, but all bike riders. In fact, there's probably more, no, it's not more important, it's just as important for uh, road bike riders. Um, you know, you come off on a road bike, I mean, there is, I know a lot of people who have come off on road bikes and they've said afterwards, you know, i just trying to keep up with that guy. I thought, if he can do the corner, so can I. But there's so much more than just going around a corner. It's the setup, the preparation. Um, actually, quite a good friend of mine. <laughs> I had a WRX one year. Went up on this particular ride, not not on the dirt, on the asphalt. But it's WRX, and he went, "It's a car. I can keep up with that." And of course, we come around this pretty tight corner. I just overtaken him. Come around this pretty tight corner, and he just ran wide straight into the guardrail, broke his leg. He ended up spending the rest of the ride on the in the back seat of my, my WRX. Um, well, that's a car, by the way, WRX, not the like WR or anything. Uh, so yeah, it's really important not not to keep up with the guy in front, but to ride at your own pace. If you feel like you are, shit, I, I really want to keep up with this guy, mate. Drop back on dirt; it's easier because you can just drop back out of the dust, and then you're setting your own pace. If you start, um, you know, getting more and more dust, you go, okay, I'm catching him. I can uh, pat myself on the back or whatever you want to do. <laughs> and if you don't see the dust, well, good, I'm staying out of the dust. Um, that's a really easy way to limit your pace. Not be in the, in the trap of trying to keep up with someone. Man, I mean, this road, man, this is awesome. Nice and sweeping. It's quite easy to see what's coming up. Oh, <laughs> big front wheel slide there. <sighs> Oops, there's a crunch of the gearbox. Jesus, I hope you guys didn't hear that. I just nicked it with my toe instead of a positive shift. I do have a bit of a habit of doing that in the standing position. It's, you know. When you set your bike up to be to work when you're in the sitting position and the standing position um, I guess it is a little bit of a compromise and of course I'm in the sitting position when I'm chasing the sports guys up the hill and then as soon as I'm off road I'm in the standing position don't want to be I'm too lazy to change my lever position every time Ooh, some big rocks there You do have to always be careful. I know I have seen a lot of people hugging the inside of right-hand corners off-road. Someone will take that right-hand side. I mean, it gives them the most room for error. It gives them least chance of survival if a four-wheel drive comes the other way. Mate, right, just back off the speed a little. Who cares? You don't, you don't have to. It's not a race. You don't have to win. Yes, it's good for your ego, but... Mate, right, crashing far out ways. Damage to your ego. <laughs> it's not even damage, it's 
a non-boost of your ego. Anyway, that's my tips for today. I don't know when I'll get to the bottom. Might be some more footage after this. Depends how long I've just rambled for. I didn't really cover much of a topic, but I just felt... I was thinking about it as I'm riding, and I thought maybe I should talk about it. Cheerio! Oh, my legs are burning. Hey, see the deer? Let's see if I can see him. Hey! Hope you can see him. Can you see him guys? Oh, he took off. Pretty decent size. Yeah, I often see these things out out on the trail, I hope that you're not too dusty or anything. No, you look pretty good. Oh. If you didn't see him, I'll see if I can zoom in and get him. You might not get him very clear. He's a bit far away. We've got the fish eye lens. <sighs> yeah, obviously he came near the side of the road where that sunny bit is because there's a bit more grass there. It's always a bit of a reward when you spot things like that. Yeah, anything. Snakes, lizards, <laughs> uh, colourful birds. I don't care for these brown birds, these grey, you know, just boring ones. The camouflaged ones, but the, the pretty ones. It's nice.